Yo, what is up everybody? It's Jack here. I'm a Shopify developer here at Section Store. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can add a custom reviews widget, just like this one, to the product page. So sections like this is something that I always get asked about as a Shopify developer. But the problem is that a lot of apps charge an outrageous monthly subscription for something like this, or you have to get a developer to implement it with also costs a lot of money. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add this exact section with everything customizable, including the reviews to any Shopify theme, free or paid, in only a couple of minutes without paying a developer or an app subscription. To do this, I'm gonna be using the Shopify app section store. Section store is a component library of 600 different theme sections that plug into any Shopify theme, free or paid. Today, specifically, we're gonna be looking at product reviews too. If I click into the section, you can see that it is a one-time charge of $9, but this is never occurring. So once you purchase the section, you own it forever and you can use it as many times as you want and as many themes as you want without ever having to pay for it again. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the section. It's gonna show up here under My Sections. As you can see, we have Product Reviews 2 under the My Sections tab, and all you need to do is select Add to Theme and click the theme that you want to install it on. Now you've installed it on the theme, jump into the theme editor, find the product page that you want to add the reviews to, select add section, search for product reviews, and then add product reviews to to the product page. Here's a section up the top that I've customized earlier. To start customizing the section, we want to click on the overall section name, which gives us the overall section settings here on the right hand side. Starting at the very top, we have the position, so we can go above or below the buy buttons, above or below the product title, description, or below the price. Below that, we have the overall section settings. So first, we have the slider settings. First one here is reviews per view. So right now I have the set to two, so we can see two reviews before the customer has to scroll over. You can move this up or down depending on your preference. And what's really great about these sections is they have the settings for both desktop and mobile, so you can completely customize the view depending on where the customer's viewing from. Below that, we have gap again for desktop and mobile, and then some more styling settings. We have padding, horizontal, and vertical for desktop and mobile roundness, border thickness, and a shadow option. Underneath that, we have some settings for the stars. So we have these stars here by default, but if you wanna use a custom icon, you can upload an image here, and then below that, you can change the sizes for desktop and mobile. Moving down, we have the verified settings. So this little text here, you can have the verified tag on or off, and later in the video, I'm gonna show you how you can customize this if you want it to say something different. Again, we have some styling settings, so sizes for desktop and mobile, and then below that we have text settings. Much the same thing, you can add a custom font, you can change the sizes for desktop and mobile, adjust the line height, and overall apply more styling. Next is the title setting, so this is the title of the review. Again, much the same with a custom font, all of your styling options like margin, line height, font for desktop and mobile. We then have the same thing again for the text, so the body text of the review. Below that is the author settings and the publication time settings. Again, very similar thing, just all of your style and option, custom fonts, giving you super customizable features so you can change everything about this here, have different colors, different sizes, different fonts if you wanted to, to have it looking just right for your theme. Next, we have the arrow settings. So these are the arrows that the customer would click on to scroll through the reviews. Again, a lot of styling options, so sizes, icon size, border thickness, roundness, a hover effect, desktop and mobile options, and the option to turn it on for only desktop, only mobile, or both if you want the customer to just slide on mobile. Following that, we have these bottom text settings. So this is this text here that says rated 4.6 out of 5. So you can completely customize that text if you have a different rating or you want to put something else in here, some other type of disclaimer. You have a fully customizable text field with all of your styling options like font, sizes, line height, margin, and even alignment for both desktop and mobile. Finally, down the bottom here, we have the color settings, just like a regular Shopify section. So you have all of these options for color. Able to, you can customize the title, text, author, your stars, the background, the icons, all of the arrow colors, hover colors, and everything that you would need to update the colors to match your theme or how you designed it or get this looking just right for your product page. Once you've gone through and made all of those overall section customizations, we can move back over here to the left-hand side and start customizing the individual section blocks. So each one of these blocks here on the left-hand side represents one review. In this section, I have four reviews, for example, but you can add more if you want more reviews or you can remove them if you don't need them. I think the great part about having reviews like this is you have full control however they show up. So you can show your best reviews or the one that you just want the customers to see initially when they hit the page. So to customize the first review, I'm gonna click on the first block here and then go over to the right-hand side. The first option is the stars count. So I have this set to five out of five stars. We have the verified text, so this is this here, which you can change to something else if you wanted to. We have a title, so this bold text that shows up the top, again, which you can customize. We then have the body text or the actual review, so you can copy your reviews in here from Google or Trustpilot or another reviews platform, or you can even add your own. 
Following that, we have an author and then a time, so how long ago the review was left. You would repeat this process for as many reviews as you want to add. So right now I have four blocks, so I would go through here and repeat this process four times for my four individual reviews. As I said, you can add or remove these if you want more or less. And once you're happy, you can head up to the top right corner, preview it on desktop and mobile, and then hit save. And there we have it. That was just a super quick tutorial on how you can add a review section exactly like this one to your product page. This is a reviews format that's really highly requested and a lot of people ask me about. So this, in my opinion, is the best way to add it to a Shopify theme. It installs quickly. There's no development cost and you're not paying any ongoing app subscription. It's $9 and you own it forever. If you have any questions about this section or any of our other sections, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, keep an eye on both this channel and the app as we release multiple new sections just like this every single week.